so you'll go to basket weaving and then over here, then navigate to keywords. If it loads, man, that screen record thing slows it down so much. Okay, so basket weaving has two keywords. Um, so you need to have at least three, but have a range of three to 20 keywords in your ad group, right? So if this is you, or if you're in a similar place where you've got some keywords, but you need more, you can just click on this plus sign and uh, add more this way. Add some if you can think of them. Um, otherwise, there's like, I think it'll suggest some if you like put in the website or the options, so, or the website or the main keyword. So um, everybody, and remember too, if you go on this list and you can't even find your ad group, the best way to do that is to don't create an ad group if you don't find it here. Actually go to tools and settings go to keyword planner discover new keywords and then um yeah start putting them in and then you check those of you who weren't here last time get some help from somebody at your table but you put it in here and then at the very end you press at you you click on create new ad group add keywords and uh then it'll it'll create for you. So it's kind of tricky because I know people are in a lot of different places. So I hope that half of you aren't bored and the other half are confused because <laughs> we're going kind of down the middle. But let's just just get started and ask questions. Um, it's good to figure these things out for yourself anyway, because then you'll remember better. So everyone just get to the point where you have an ad group with three to 20 keywords and then we'll move on. And remember that if your interface doesn't look like mine looks, you probably need to press switch view or like change change how it, there's a button there that should change how it looks. Okay, so so yeah for example my voice attraction and it's like for you I'm 
Okay, yeah, I don't I don't see it here, Gabby. Oh yeah, Lone Peak. <laughs> In 2013. What about you guys again? Okay, nice. What year were you, Jorge? Nice. Okay. Yeah, so Gabby, let's just try creating a new Azure. Yeah. <laughs> 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 It's actually the wicked war. Yeah, yeah. 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 Tell me which I would prefer. I we're talking about to move on to the analytics session. So, if you want, 
That's in the other category. Watch. I watched Bono and you put the part from the past. And right now you can just buy it or whatever. I mean, I don't know if you had to, but having multiple ads in the same group is tight every time. So, I go like all the time. Because that's something I go like, I'm used to getting in the same group. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. No, my favorite. I just see one of these guys here. I feel like you're going to get paid for your ads. Okay, then. Okay, guys, um, raise your hand if you have an ad group and you have confirmed that there are keywords in the ad group. Okay, raise your hand if you're not there yet. It's okay. Okay. Okay, so just a couple more minutes and I'll... Okay. I 
Okay, guys. So I think, don't worry if you're not done with your keywords yet. You can work on it some more. But um, just real quick, let's let's. Uh, I'll show you how to create an ad. So over here on the left, by the way, if you can't see this menu, it's probably because you're only seeing this and you need to click this arrow to expand it. So go here, um, find, find your ad group, click on here, make sure that there are some keywords in it. So this is the one I did for an example last time. So the next thing with this selected, what you're gonna do is click on ads and extensions and then here, you're gonna create a new ad. You can click on it right here or right here. So I'm gonna click that plus, and then responsive search ad. Mine already have like some stuff. It showed like some spend money. Nice, yeah, it probably <laughs> ran. Did you have it an ad in last time though? No, no. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I'll look at that. I, I was noticing that last time. I don't. I wonder if Google is like automatically making the ad. <laughs> yeah, it's linked to my current bank account. <laughs> okay, guys. So what you're gonna do now? So first, in final URL, this is important. So. Um, if you were assigned a specific page to advertise to, this is where you put in that page. So the Hermitage, so if I'm working on, if I'm on facility rental and bridal and family portraits, then I'm going to take this URL, copy it. Okay, copy. And then I go back. Any day now. Yeah. Dang, my computer is like. <laughs> okay, here it is. Okay, so. Okay. <laughs> Let's try that again. Okay, bear with me. 
So responsive search ad, drop in the URL, final URL. Don't worry about the display path for now. So what you're gonna do is put in a bunch of headlines and Google's gonna test these to see which ones are best. So if I'm doing bridal and family portraits, I'm gonna do like, <clears throat> also look closely at what keywords you added. Oh wait, okay. So let's say I added lots of keywords with the word bridal or bridles in them, you know? Um, so like best place, best place for bridal pictures. Actually, I should give you guys a good example. So we're gonna do um, initial caps. So capitalize the beginning of every word. Best the headlines, capitalize the first letter of every word. The descriptions, just normal sentence format. So capitalize the first word, end with a period. Best place for bridal pictures. And uh, you'll notice here, this is one of the trickiest things about making these ads is the character limit, right? So right now I'm at 30 out of 30. Um, I can't add any more characters. Best place for bridal pictures. Um, bridal venue near me. <clears throat> And what you want to do is you're going to have to put in a lot of these and try to have them close to the key words that you put in as well. So, for example, bridal venue near me, I'm kind of assuming that was a key word in this ad group. Having that as a headline is awesome because if somebody searches bridal venue near me and your ad is the first thing that pops up and it says that same thing they just searched for, like, obviously it's relevant to what they searched for. So that's why Google gives you suggestions up here. It's not doing it for me because this is a bad example, like what to do, fun things to do, but you can use those if you want. And uh, you're gonna go down the list and then for description, <clears throat> I'd, you're gonna have to add like six or seven of these. So then in the description, you're gonna do like, make sure you know what you're talking about too. Uh, like research the page you're driving traffic to. So like if I, if I, assuming I had done that, I'd say like the hermitage, the hermitage museum gardens have been a long time favorite uh, venue for bridals in Norfolk, Virginia. That's past, I'll just say Norfolk. And then in this other one, you also want to include keywords you added. So um, a bridal venue that will make the most of your, that will help you make the most of your special day. So just put in a couple different things there. Um, and then what we're, what you need to watch as you do this is, this is kind of a cool feature Google added recently actually is, they kind of like tell you how good your ad is and give you suggestions as you create it, right? So create this ad until this says at least good. <laughs> um, and then once it does, um, screenshot that and keep it on your computer because uh, for the assignment in like a week or two when we go back and like analyze the account, uh, you'll have to turn that in and it'll kind of just be proof that you created it. So actually, don't just screenshot this. Screenshot it with like this whole page. So like the headlines and the descriptions you added. So everyone go through with that. And then, uh, yeah, I'll keep going around and answering, answering questions if you have them. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't think it matters because Google's going to just test out a lot of things to see what is best. Yeah. Yeah, that's usually what we're looking for. So I think you're good. You probably wouldn't help. I don't know if this is just under good. I think you wouldn't have to. Adjusting. Oh, which is, but yeah, I don't know about that too much. 
Um, well, this this looks like it right now. Oh, okay. Okay. So this is like it looks like it's coming through the phone. Are you just trying to add the keywords to your answer? Okay. 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 So when you switch for the tutorial on there, is there already an add link for the keywords? No. Okay. So when you go to so Yeah. 
so Christmas activities have to come up with the museum, which is pretty a lot. Mm -hmm. So maybe you can do some Christmas activities for the kids. Yeah, I mean, they probably need like, I think they'll need like seven or eight. And then notice that Google, it gives you better ratings. You can see here like what keywords you're working with, right? And Google gives you better ratings on the ad if you're including the keywords in the headlines. So be checking that out if you're trying to, to add. You need to have keywords in headlines and descriptions, and that's how you can get up to the good rating. What the focus in here right now? Here's my here's my sweat shot. How much <laughs> What's that? How much are you paying? <laughs> we'll just split it as a class. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Memorable things you can do today. Yeah, or you can just have like a So not every single headline needs to have a keyword in it. So just trying to get to do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Okay, guys, so let me interrupt you for just a second more. When you've, so when you have good and you screenshot it, um, don't worry too much if you don't screenshot it because you can come back to this if you really need to, but it's easiest if you just screenshot it now and keep that handy. So at the bottom it says save and create extensions. Um, Oh, it's gonna make me it's gonna make me put a bunch of these in. All right. Save and create extensions. So then it brings you to this page. Um this is where you add a callout extension. You can do this if you want, but, well, I don't know, actually. Let's, let's have everyone do it. It's not too hard. So this is important. Um, add to, don't set it to campaign, because that otherwise your, your extensions will be added to everybody else's campaigns in your group, which, troll. yeah, <laughs> there, there's better ways to troll. So select ad group. And then these are just like little phrases you put at the end. So like highly rated, um, great indoor activity. And just kind of put them in and it just gives more for Google to work with. 
Um, and if you have time, you can add some other extensions too. Like, so after that, if, if you're someone who finishes early, go over here to extensions, it's the same, like before we went to ads and then click to the plus. Now you go to extensions and click the plus and, uh, you can go in here and just add, add in whichever of these you want, kind of poke around and you can learn about them, see how they work, what they are, which would be best applied. And it'll kind of walk you through the process of making them. Um, this is good. Oh, nice. Um, some extensions. Picture extensions are awesome. Right here. Picture? Yeah. Can you try that out? Oh, um, cool. Um, what are you looking at? So, I so a site link? Maybe? I don't know why that one. Yeah, I don't know. They kind of suggest that they need extensions. So of course we can just add it to it. Yeah, so side link extensions are really cool. These are like different pages on the website that you can do that with the other. Yeah, so other than her. So yours is also some good side links. Okay. We're just going to do that. The thing though is that what if, what if somebody is searching yeah, so just get the more options. It also gives a good school to say it. It does, but we're going to do it closer to what we're going to do. Yeah, so, feel free if you want more information, but basically you're going to drop this URL into the URL and set it and put some text in there. That way, if someone goes away, Oh, I'm just hearing this, but I think we're on the tour, but you know, I think we will check that out. I think it's just like, I think we're going to do that. How do you want to finish it in the same way? Yeah, well, just a sec, but let me just write it off. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure. Yeah, it's not really good. So, um, let's see. Yeah, so Yeah, just think of like more unique ways to say these and put more these key words. So, like, for example, um, let's see, so I would find a So, maybe like our sites nearby. Memorable. It's a memorable course so it's nearby. So it's kind of like a little bit more unique. Yeah, looking a little bit more unique and then adding some. Yeah, just keep adding to them and kind of touching them up. And, you know, if it's still still just after two minutes. So this is one, but I think Try, um, what is it? So you can take out the word the uh, for uh, self guided tour and date night. I know. I think it's called like a hyphen, but. Yeah. Yeah. So you can take out the space between date and. Or you can say just like self guided tour. Okay. Um, how do I do the first time? Um let's see. Yeah, maybe yeah, maybe just delete it and do that part of it. There's a better way, but or you could say um what is add tell you yeah. 
And then maybe you can delete it. Now it's added on the ad group level and the campaign level, so now maybe you can delete it on the campaign level. Right. Yeah. yeah. This is it. <clears throat> Um, so yeah, well, we have some time, so this is just an extension. So, uh, um, so technically, you don't have to, but since we don't have to, you can see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So it's just like they're family friendly. It's just like a really short little thing where you can put it back in time. Hey, Daddy, do you have one to call out the um, I would not check on that. It's like not why I got it to the end. But it says I just did it to the ad chip. We are going to post the ad. Really? What were your specific like, like, so guided tour? It's not that much. Yeah. 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 That is mine. Let's <laughs> So, well, Yeah. It's just tough when you have this and you actually have to do it. 
Well, three family things to do in you, we need three other indoor things to do in you. So maybe, like, maybe you cut out, like, cut out one of the weaker ones and kind of one that's closer to that suggestion, basically. You do that with a couple of them, see if that helps. If you have any that are kind of redundant, like, X goes and put in the suggested a version of the suggested ones. Yeah. So, right. so the silence are different than all objects, but I think the silence are like, uh, it just lets me read it because you get so, so um, yeah, probably just don't add these. You can press done or the next one. Yeah, yeah. so if we're going to do that, we're going to get extensions here. And that is going to have maybe some of the extension options. All right, how are we doing, guys? Is it power? Yeah. Okay, so the description the bottom. So that's not part of the description. You're adding it here Yeah, I think it's a thing you're doing. I know it's kind of weird because people see it, so it's not always a good Good for you. Yeah. Yeah. That's so awesome. Like, so, Eric, actually, I'm wondering, and I'm just a lot of time, time, but I want to show everybody Google yeah. Data Studio and oh, that's yeah, Google Ads Editor. So, yeah, if, you have to, if you have to run, go for it. But if you don't want to write it, talk to you. Okay. Yeah, maybe I'll show you. Yeah. But yeah, you put stuff Okay. So these are your headlines. Just scroll down. Oh, these are your description. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're so close to the windows. If you just add those 90, those 90 characters, like come here. All right, guys. How are we doing? Good. Uh, thumbs up if you 
are done. If you you got it to the place where it said it's good. I don't know. Cool. Okay, um, raise your hand if it says average or you, yeah, you're stuck or it's not working with you. Okay, dang guys, that's hard. It's hard when it's like not giving you good suggestions, huh? Um, so, let's see. Yeah, honestly guys, those, maybe if yours still says average, um, after class, just like Google, how to make how to make best headlines for Google ads, how to do like search responsive ads, because I think you're close. Try just like removing things and putting different things in. Um, yeah, just give it some time and some thought after class and work on it. And if you can't figure it out, message me and I'll try to help you. Chelsea? Yeah, so this is a quick question. So like, um, I put on, so I was working on like a family fund. Yeah. Um, and I put it on a headline that said be inspired and get creative. Cool. So it's like very generic, but it did bring me from good to excellent. Mm. So it's like, is that, but in the long run, is that like worse since it's like more generic? It's not directed to excellent. You know what I mean? Right. No, I think it's good. I mean, and that's kind of what Google is going to test as well, right? So if you're, if it's suggesting that you need to make it more unique, that means that you need to broaden away from the keywords a little bit more. And if it's saying add more keywords, that means you need to get in closer. So sometimes just generic lines like come make memories with us actually do pretty well. So <laughs> yeah. Okay guys. So um, last thing before we get out um, and by the way, I'll go through and uh, yeah, all of your ads should be published. So you all have access to this account. You guys can jump in on this and see how things are doing. Feel free to go in and like add or remove keywords to your ad group as you like. Um, I'll kind of be policing it to make sure we don't we don't get disqualified from the grant or anything. But I hope you guys feel ownership over your ad group. So let me show you one last thing that's really cool and really important. This is called Google Data Studio. Um, and basically, if you're running this for your boss or for clients, like, as you know, it's kind of intimidating to jump into the Google Ads account. So Google Data Studio is cool because it lets you create this like really attractive, easy to understand report. And you can automatically send it to whoever you want every week. Um, I really like this with my clients too because... Uh, they're like, oh, he sends me a report every week. It's just, but it's just automated and like <laughs> it shows how well the account is doing. So the way that you do this, um, if you ever wanted to do this, you just sign into Google Data Studio and then uh, let's, let's get in on my right account here. So Villa Terrace Decorative Arts. So you can kind of just create this. It's pretty easy. This museum doesn't have ads active right now. But on under edit, you can choose like what you want it to look like, make it different colors, go to layout. Um, you can move these boxes around. This is just kind of how I set up mine. But there's all sorts of cool graphs and things that you can build. This shows like which keywords people are clicking on. It lets you adjust which date range you're looking at. Um, and so the way you attach it to your Google Ads account is, let's see if I can remember. I don't know, this is already attached, so it might not even work here, but Yeah, just be aware that this exists and it's not very hard to do and it's really awesome. And then under share, this is where you can like schedule email delivery and I put in the people that it's supposed to send to every week, weekly on Friday. Um, and you can just choose whichever graphs or metrics you want them to see. So there's that. And then another thing for 
for those of you that are power users or want to be, there's this thing called Google Ads Editor. And this is awesome if you run lots of, if you're like doing this big time, because what this lets you do is it's basically just a different interface for the Google Ads account. And it makes it really easy to copy paste ads, copy paste keywords, ad groups, extensions. Um, I even, this is what I do a lot with it is uh, I go like, so this is for the Disney account. Um, so if I wanted to go into that, if I wanted to use ads from another museum, I can click on this responsive search ads. Um, I'm just selecting all the ads right here. I can go into edit and I can go replace text. So um, for example, like they're located in San Francisco, but say I'm copy pasting from another campaign that was located in Milwaukee or or I'm starting with Milwaukee and I already have this one from San Francisco. I can go in and replace all instances of San Francisco with Milwaukee, which in a lot of cases can make the ads like immediately work. And it was so easy to do, right? So it's a really efficient way to, to scale up ads accounts, especially if you like have a really good ads account that you're proud of and you want to use for other clients without building it from the ground up. This makes all the difference. So there's a couple tools for you. Do you guys have questions about those? Just kind of a broad overview. Yeah, Adam? How do you see this? Will it show up automatically in your Google Analytics, your site? Um, or do you have to like tag it? So like if you log into Google Analytics, will this show up basically? Yeah, your idea. No. You have to log into Google Data Studio. Um, and let's see if I can pull one up here. And then if you have that weekly email set up, that's the easiest way for you and others to get to it. They loved my design and content. It's great. Thirty-two people have been added to your Google Ads account. <laughs> So here's an email of what it looks like every week. This is that account that's no longer running. So this is why it looks like this. But um, yeah, it just pops up here and you and other clients can click on it. I have multiple pages for this museum. And then if you want to go more in depth, you can just click on this link and it'll take you to Google Data Studio if you're logged into the right account, <laughs> which I'm not currently. Is that just like one part of the museum or something? Yeah. So basically it's one nonprofit that has two museums. So the two pages are for the different museums. Yeah. As far as like an ad campaign, how would you use this if you just track that and Google and like it's all Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay guys, well that's it. I'll I'll miss you. I'm not gonna see you for a week, but have a good time with Will. Grace, final answer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Very brave. I like it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. See you later. Yeah. Thanks, Ryan. See ya. Yeah. Did you get my Slack thing? Oh, when did you send it? Uh, yesterday. Okay. Sorry. I must not have seen that. So yesterday I actually had a call with client yeah they said they wanted me to do it cool they just have to wait until january to get the oh oh wait, yeah but then found out <laughs> the minute from what it doesn't have right great right. dang it um but anyways i've been working on trying to find others